What's good y'all? Welcome back to my channel, Chrissy Talks. Y'all coming Chrissy. I think I'm gonna start doing true crime videos on Fridays. Let me know if that works for y'all. If y'all fucking with it, comment down below. But y'all, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I feel like this story is one of those cases that women especially fear happening to them. Between having a crazy slash abusive boyfriend and having to bury your child. Now this case unfortunately involves both, allegedly. There are a couple twists and turns that might have y'all side eyeing this case. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this past Monday night in Houston, Texas, 22 year old Jemiah Jones allegedly walked into the house of his ex-girlfriend and shot and killed her nine year old daughter. On Monday night, Brittany Sorrells was watching a movie with her three kids. One of them being just one years old, seven years old, and of course her nine-year-old daughter, Kylie Sorrell. While Brittany was upstairs watching a movie with her kids, her male cousin was downstairs talking to a friend when Jemiah showed up on their property. Now her cousin then warned Brittany that her ex-boyfriend was outside and he seemed visually upset. And he was going inside and outside the house, eventually giving her ex-boyfriend access to gain entry inside of their apartment. Now I'm wondering at this point why her cousin was going back and forth in and out the house. Unless you were going to confront the boyfriend, I felt like you should have barricaded everybody inside the house and called the police instead of going in and out of the house and eventually giving Jemiah access to get inside. When Jemiah went inside of the house, he went into Brittany's bedroom. He was demanding the TV back because he believed that it was his. I don't know if it was for sure, but nonetheless, he actually ended up ripping the TV out of the wall and walked into the living room. Brittany, of course, then followed him and that is when an argument ensued. Jemiah began asking Brittany to see her phone to see if she was talking to somebody else, claiming that she was seeing another man even though, mind you, they had broken up for two months at this point and they only had gone out for eight months prior to this. I don't know if he ended up getting her phone, but it was confirmed that she was messaging somebody else and that was when he allegedly walked back into the bedroom where her three kids were at and fired two shots, one of them hitting nine-year-old Kylie. He then went back into the living room and told Brittany to get on her knees and shot her in the shoulder before running out the house now that confuses me because Usually in cases like this, a person would shoot their significant other's child, shoot the significant other, and sometimes even end up shooting themselves. Brittany later on says that he aimed at her head. I don't know if that's true because he did end up shooting her in the shoulder, and I think that is very odd. Of course, in this situation, it seems like he shot her daughter to get back at Brittany, but the decision to leave Brittany alive seemed questionable in this situation. Brittany then went back into the room where she seen her nine-year-old daughter laying on the floor, and that is when both her and Kylie were transferred to the Herman Memorial hospital in Texas where Kylie was later pronounced dead. Now this is where things get a little interesting. So while Brittany was in the hospital while her and her daughter were being treated, Brittany and Jeremiah were actually apparently going back and forth on Instagram. Brittany said, how could you do this to me? How could you hurt my baby? Somebody I love so much because I didn't want to be with you. So you come and try and kill me and kill my baby. You are sick. I'm sick to my stomach. Please stay away from these crazy ass ninjas. Please, like my heart is broken, I'm torn into pieces, I lost a part of me I can never get back, I will never be the same again, just as for Kylie, I love you baby. Then she says, remember you got a daughter yourself, which obviously is crazy because if you have a child, you think it would be more understanding to leave kids out of your bullshit, you know? Now Jeremiah claps back and actually posts some alleged text messages between him and Brittany. According to these messages, Brittany allegedly texted him, you want me dead, you got your wish, you can have your peace now. You left me so you wouldn't have to do anything for me. Tomorrow you ain't take anything but clothes so you can go with who you wanted to be with, but I won't be able to hurt anymore. I'll be at peace. Nobody has to ever worry about me again. I wish everybody the best. Forget I was ever here. Funny how you cheat on me, hurt me, and have the nerve, but I'm gone. You got it. You will never be shit. Your shit will be outside by the dumpster. He said, can I call you later? I don't want it. And in this post, he said, ain't this you acting like you're gonna kill yourself because I blocked you. Then he posts some more alleged messages between him and Brittany. And Brittany is allegedly saying, I know where you be. You finna die tonight. Watch this. I'm finna F your life up. He said, what are you talking about? She said, don't worry about it. Hey, stop texting me. I'm blocking you. Like, I'm done. This is why I never took you back. You are no good. Please, bro, like, stay away from me. I'm begging you. I'm gone. I'm done. And in this post, he says, you've been trying to blemish my image. Now, Brittany then, in return, posts some screenshot messages of her own, allegedly between her and Jeremiah. And in the message, it says, you have made my life miserable since we've been together. You put me through so much, man. Leave me alone. Jeremiah allegedly said, bro, I can fix everything. Are you serious, Brittany? You don't constantly cheat on somebody you live and want to marry or keep hurting them. Bro, I haven't cheated. What the F? Please leave me alone. Please, man. Bye. He said, bro, I told you I would give you my passwords. She said, bye, Jay. And he said, please don't do me like this. 
Then she posts some more alleged messages and Jemiah apparently said, Brittany, can you please come with me tomorrow to get fitted for this ring? I want to marry you since you think I don't love you. You can't even tell me what the F I did that day to make you that mad, bro. I'd rather you be honest and tell me you're trying to F with somebody than try making that excuse Saying I'm not changing because came home for you, let you make money with me, even must finish show you how to make money, showed you love and affection, like, bro, I'm not dumb. I know when somebody trying to F with somebody else, bro. You expect me to try to just let somebody go? I was going to marry, bro. You wrong over a petty ass argument. Now, keep in mind in these messages, he talked about making money and showing her how to make money. Keep that in mind. Brittany then says, I'm over it. This is too much for me, man. I can't deal with this. That text showing what type of ninja he is. He need help for real, for real. Our relationship had nothing to do with my child. You could have killed me. You had the gun pointed at my head why you didn't pull it shake my head you are a coward how can you sit on here and say i threaten you when i got over 15 police reports from you stalking my house effing my car up harassing me blowing my phone up popping up at my house that gives you the right to shoot my daughter i'll just say this and leave it alone if you're so innocent turn yourself in so they can see the real truth and so my baby can rest in peace because i'm not letting up until i get justice and then some behind mine I'm not going back and forth with nobody over this internet. I just lost my child. I have so many messages and calls from this man. I'm not even finna go there. I'm gonna let the streets and the laws deal with him. I'm done. Y'all can have him. Now again, all this back and forth is happening while she's at the hospital and while her daughter is dying and was later pronounced dead. And of course, this rubbed people the wrong way because it's like, how are you not only posting on social media, but going back and forth with your daughter's alleged killer? Now personally, I always wondered how somebody could lose somebody or somebody could lose their child at that and be able to post on social media. Because for me, bitch, if my child passed away, I would literally die. So each is their own. But in this situation, you're not only posting on social media while your child is in the hospital, but you're going back and forth again with your child's alleged killer. On top of that, these alleged messages, we don't know if they're real or not, but if they are real, they just show that, that both of them were toxic in their relationship. And their relationship itself possibly could have definitely been toxic. Now, regardless of Brittany naming Jemiah Jones as her daughter's killer and as the person who shot her as well, Jemiah actually claimed his innocence. He actually went on a Zoom call with a news station and said that he was innocent. For no reason to hide. I have no reason to hide. I'm going I'm to turn myself in. I just want my lawyer to get all the proper documents for me. He said that he had no reason to hide and he was going to turn himself in. And pertaining to those documents that he was waiting to receive from his lawyer, he posted, I'm innocent. My lawyer is getting a video from a gas station I was at at 9.32 p.m. when they said that this happened at 9.50 p.m. Of course, this doesn't really mean anything without the location of the gas station in comparison to where Brittany lives. We don't know the distance between the two places. I mean, on top of that, we don't even know if this footage exists, but... If he was at the gas station, it matters at that point how far away he would have been from Britney's house. Because honestly, some gruesome murders can take place within even 5 or 10 minutes, you know what I mean? And it definitely doesn't even take 1 minute, let alone 30 seconds to pull a trigger and shoot somebody. Now, not only is Jemiah claiming his innocence, but his brother is claiming his innocence as well. The anchor who reported this case on the scene actually tweeted, To be transparent, brother of Jemiah Jones just showed up to the scene moments ago saying his brother is being falsely accused by police, claiming his brother isn't the suspect and he was elsewhere last night. On one of Britney's posts, his brother actually commented, Bro, speak facts. My brother's on camera at stores nowhere near you. Tell the truth. You burned a ninja for $3,400 and he came back just like the last ninja you burnt for $250 that was stalking you and jumped you. So tell the truth because when the facts come out, you're going to be looking dumb AF and I know you're going to delete it because it's the truth. But remember, God sees everything. So Jemiah's brother in this comment is claiming that Brittany was out here scamming people and she allegedly scammed his brother Jeremiah on top of scamming other people. He mentions that the last ninja that she scammed for $250 was stalking her and ultimately allegedly jumped her over his money. After Jeremiah's brother posted this comment, a lot more comments came in about Brittany allegedly scamming people. It got crazy and disrespectful because they're over here commenting and bringing up her owing money to them under the post of her daughter someone commented sorry for your loss but where is my hundred dollars you scared me on my cash app what the hell someone else commented and this comment is crazy y'all he said i'm just a bitch for real this the same woman that scammed me i don't wish this on a soul your daughter didn't deserve this to happen to her but god works in mysterious ways it's a crazy world we live in hope you get your justice for your daughter and turn your life around r.i.p baby girl again that comment itself is just wildly disrespectful even if she did scam these people there's a time and a place for sure 
but it is interesting that they're linking her daughter's death to Britney's own mistakes of scamming people. Now, I believe it was that same person who commented karma's a bitch. He actually posted a video where, and shout out to Nika at night, he posted a video where he read up on Britney at one point and confronted her about the money while she was with her daughter, and this is the video, y'all. <laughs> Why you following me, bro? Because I'm going to get my money. Why, you you're not going to do shit. Okay, how are you going to get it? You going to take it from me? Ain't you making hair? Ain't you doing hair? Don't worry about what the fuck I'm going to do. It's you going to take it from me. I ain't got to do all that. You're a female. Okay, don't worry about me. I ain't got to do all that. I ain't got to do all that. Call your bitch. I ain't got to do all that. Call your bitch. Stop following me. I ain't going to keep following you. If you're going to do something about it, do it. Touch me. I'm letting you know. I'm going to show you something. Okay, show me. 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 She's a scammer. She's scamming people out of CPNs, BOAs, all this shit, man. She's a scammer. I got screenshots, page, screenshots, everything. She wanna do the most in Zelda, though, bro. Yeah, let somebody shoot at me, too. I got, pe I got people watching, man. Okay, what you talking about? Like? Yo, come on, bro. Don't worry about that. Yeah, whatever. My, 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 my. I ain't tripping. Mom's already here, though. Mom's already here. Already here. I'm gonna get my bread. I was gonna be here too. Okay, yeah. I was gonna be here too. Okay. Yeah, whatever. She got her daughter out here. She doing this crash dummy ass shit. I ain't even know for her, bro. You don't, just can't give a nigga his two hundred and fifty dollars, man. Bro, ain't taking no ill. My shit, man. So I believe that this might have been the person that Jemiah's brother was talking about. This person that she scammed $250 out of that was stalking her and apparently jumped her. I don't know if he really jumped her. Now something to be noticed in this video is that at one point she is with her daughter, but her daughter takes a detour and the woman doesn't even notice. So let's play that part of the video again real quick. Now this really blows me because I feel like I'd have been able to feel when my daughter's not around me. At the end of that video, she does turn around and she's talking to the man who's recording and is like, why are you following my daughter? Because at that point, her daughter is close to the man. But she's not seen in the video attempting to grab her daughter or yell for her daughter to come back or nothing. And that's wild to me because... You apparently scanned this man, but she does not deny in this video. And your daughter is near him, and you're far from your daughter. And you're not really frantic or attempting to run back and get her or none of that. You don't know. This man is upset at you. This man is already mad at you for something that you did. You don't know what he could have done to your daughter. He could have harmed her. He could have snatched her. He could have done whatever. So that is definitely concerning that her daughter was even around to witness that and that she wasn't really that frantic or that upset or that whatever when her daughter wasn't even around her. Now, of course, there could be way more context that could be provided for this video, but that's just something that people noticed from it. And I definitely don't want to put no blame on the mom because of her possibly scamming or whatever the case. However, what that information does is question her credibility because Jeremiah's brother's argument is, you have other enemies. My brother was apparently at the gas station he wasn't even near you and you had this person just stalking you recently for his money that you also scammed my brother out of so it's like at that point could it have been somebody else could it have been somebody who was trying to get revenge because she was scamming people you know what i mean and that's why i also paid attention to those texts that she posted of jemiah talking about being able to help her make some money. Nonetheless, fortunately, Jeremiah was arrested the next day around 6 p.m. The SWAT team actually caught him in the parking lot, and this makes me wonder, was he actually going to turn himself in? Because if he was really innocent, you would have turned yourself in that night or at least the next morning. But the fact that the SWAT team had to grab your ass in the parking lot, it doesn't sound like 
you was trying to turn yourself in, but I don't know what his plan was in regards to that. Now, the other interesting thing about Jeremiah is that he actually has an extensive, lengthy jail record. He was actually out on five bonds at the time that the shooting took place. One of them being a felony charge of having possession of a weapon. Another being in this past January, he was released on bond for making a terrestrial threat to a family member or a household member. And according to Harris County records, he actually has a misdemeanor offense for allegedly threatening to kill his girlfriend. According to Brittany, Jemiah actually threatened her a week before with a gun and said that he was gonna kill her. Now, again, I don't know if the allegations are true of Britney scamming people but in the case that you were scamming people or even if you weren't and you had your crazy ex-boyfriend threatening to take your life and showing you that he has a gun that would prompt me to get my kids the hell out of there period the threat alone would but especially if you are doing people wrong and you have people showing up with you and your kid around like I'd be out of there. Now, Brittany did post a GoFundMe and I believe she might have reached her goal in order to fund Kylie's funeral, which is being held next weekend. So Kylie will be laid to rest because at the end of the day, this is who it all comes back to. In the GoFundMe, Brittany described Kylie to be a star basketball player who loved making TikTok videos. And what makes this even more sad was that she was also a member of the Houston Police Department's Activities League program. So this even hit home for the officers who had to deal with this case. But Jemiah will be going to trial and if you guys want, I will update you guys on what happens. But y'all, one thing to take from this, and this is a very deep story, obviously because this involves a child, but leave kids out of your bullshit, out of your bullshit, especially being a parent. Like the people that you deal with and the people that you might have possibly fuck over, like you just can't risk certain things when it comes to your kid. And she has three of them. Not only did she lose her beautiful nine-year-old daughter, but her one-year-old and her seven-year-old is also traumatized and had to witness that. And that's just a lot. Again, leave your kids out of your bullshit. Leave your kids out of your bullshit. And on top of that, be careful who you fuck with, honestly. It's really sad that this could have happened over a breakup. You know what I mean? Like, And it's scary because you never know who you're messing with. So it's hard to be careful. I just hate that there's crazy people like that and it's really <laughs> I can't even say anything about it because it's like you're just crazy you know what I mean I just hate that people like that exist and they get so angry and jealous that it moves them to this extent to take the life of a child who wasn't even involved in their relationship but y'all I don't know this is a tough one I really want to know what you guys think do you guys think that there's a good chance Jemiah might have done this do you guys think that Britney's alleged scamming might have been also a reason for this what do you guys think comment down below but until we get any more updates, that is the end of my video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Follow me on Instagram, at me at Snapchat at Chrissy Talks, and H.Chrissy, Chrissy, two S's, two Y's. I love and appreciate you guys, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.